The global computer chip shortage is impacting many industries, including the auto industry and computer manufacturing. It's causing major delays for appliances, and people are waiting months to receive a new washing machine or refrigerator. 13 on your side's Sarah Makuda spoke to one appliance dealer in uh, Grand Rapids about how they're dealing with a supply chain disruption. This certainly looks like a packed showroom around me, but the demand for appliances is so high right now that dealers in West Michigan say it's a challenge to keep up the inventory. I've been doing this 30 years and this is completely different than anything we've ever experienced. Look closely, many of these showroom refrigerators, dishwashers, washers and dryers have sold signs on them. The days where I could order a product and have it in my hands in a couple days are gone. Ron Boger is the vice president of Elder's Appliance in Grand Rapids. He says during normal times, they have about three to five appliances on back order. Right now, they have more than 300. And every week, they get bumped back further, bumped back further. Uh, makes it very tough because, you know, when a customer comes in, you tell them, okay, I'll order it, tell them what the ETA is. We're constantly having to update our customers saying, yeah, I'm sorry, I know I told you this, but now I'm get, getting this. The global computer chip shortage is greatly impacting the appliance industry, just like the auto industry and computer manufacturing. Pretty much every appliance you own now has a computer in it. But also things, even like injected foam that's needed to insulate refrigerators, there's a shortage. And, you know, you can have a refrigerator all there, all the parts to build it, but if you can't inject that foam, you can't sell it. The same deal for washing machines or dryers. If any small computer part is missing due to the shortage, then the manufacturers can't ship the products. Ron says to keep up with demand and promised delivery dates, he has to buy appliances wherever he can find them, and it significantly impacts his inventory. While I have higher inventory levels than I've had for years, my mix is horrible. I've got plenty of dryers, but I don't have hardly any top load washers to go with them. Which makes it difficult to sell complete appliance sets to people, especially those who are building new homes. If you're in the market for a new appliance, Ron says to shop as early as you can. Building a home and your builder says, oh, we're six to eight months out, it's not too early to shop for appliances. And if your appliance needs to be replaced, if the dealer doesn't have it in stock right now, then be prepared to wait. Sarah Makuda, 13, on your side.